My connection to the Walter and Liza Hall Institute comes damn close to being a lifelong one. I've seen massive changes in health, in heart disease, in cancer, in my own favourite field of vaccines, where brilliant new vaccines have been discovered to safeguard our children from infectious diseases. I have to acknowledge my great mentor, Sir MacFarlane Burnett, but then I'd also like to single out three people who were very, very influential colleagues. Don Metcalf, Head of Cancer Research, Ian Mackay, Head of the Clinical Research, and Jacques Miller, my colleague since days of childhood, who is the brilliant discoverer of the function of the thymus and whose cellular work was without peer. During the past hundred years, the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute has made people realise that you can do world-class medical research here in Australia, so far away from the major centres of learning in the United States and Europe. But I'd like to single out two wonderful discoveries. The first is the discovery by the late Dr Donald Metcalf of what we call colony stimulating factors. This opened up a big new chapter in haematology. The second set of advances, what we might call the genetic engineering work of Jerry Adams and Suzanne Corey, who taught us a lot about the molecular basis of cancer. I have the feeling I've been an eyewitness to history. And the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute has been a significant part of that history. <laughs>